Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on him. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? It wasn't Nick's fault. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy going to shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He was going to shoot. See? I told you, asshole. What was I supposed to do? Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. Well, why don't you go look? I'm going to sit with Beck here for a minute. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. I'll be right behind you. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <clears throat> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. I guess he slept here. It's dead. to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on his big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. He was just a guy. Yeah. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I'm sorry. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them.
Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. I know you said the guy drew on him first, but Nick was running up like a damn fool. I would have drawn on him too. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. He keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. Damn. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Ooh. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You, you feel like taking a look? Well, what am I looking for? Anyone following us. How will we know it's them? We'll know. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <laughs> whoa, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Keep your voice down. But you just yelled at me. Shut up.
Made it. You see anything? It's really dark. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I... I thought you were dead. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. sure you don't mind it's gonna storm soon please come in Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. I can't speak for everyone. Beck, it's their home. We're not going to find another place like this tonight. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? 
You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? I got him killed. What? It was my fault. Oh, darling, don't say that. I know that ain't true. He made a choice. Same as the rest of us. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? It was bad. Everything went wrong, like it always does. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. <laughs> Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Reminds me of school. What's this I haven't seen one of these since. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, 
It's about a king that brings food to a poor. Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. It's weird to see him now. I'll bet, but he's so happy to see you. Yeah. And I'm glad you're with us, too. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. What a funny little guy. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. That's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. When is Matthew coming back? He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine?
Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? No thanks. That's okay. It's weird, right? If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? Well, it's been a while, but he seems a little different. Yeah, well, that happens. I mean, guy could have seen all kinds of shit. No sense jumping to conclusions. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost it a little after that. Lost it half? Well, he drinks. Oh. Well. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. 
And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon, and everything will be fine. Hey, kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a... Little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I... I don't know. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be... Going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. He's gonna ask who did it, and you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. 
and I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. It's, it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. It's gone. Okay. I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. I could see him. see it on his face. We didn't do anything. Where'd you get the knife then? We found it in the shack. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? He's... He's like everyone else. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to get out of here. This world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone! What did you do? Did you hurt him? Hmm? Did you hurt Matthew? do anything, all right? Walt, what's going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell! how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay. We'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me.
Something ain't right. Yeah. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us! Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Look at this place. Leave this fucking place, Bonnie? 
power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh! Rebecca! Oh! Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh! Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. <laughs> He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Back. The baby. You need a doctor. Let's get out of here. Only way out is through these windows. Clem can fit. You heard him. He knows she's here. Oh! Yes! Clem can sneak out. Find Lou. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop. Don't hurt my dad, please. We're going down there. He'll kill you. Shoot! Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, never did fuck. listen. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> Let's see if I can get your attention. something or other, so I told him to take a hike.
That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Kenny, over there! Coming out. Let's go. Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. Him up. We're heading back to camp. Son of a bitch would have shot Walt no matter what we did. Well, I ain't going out like that. Not without a fight. Yeah, I know. Folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. I don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well. Those who choose not to accept our love, surely wish that they had. The storm is on the way. Little girl, little girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines. Oh, shiver the whole. Daddy was a railroad man, killed a mile and a half from here. His head was found in the driver's wheel. His body was never. Where 
Shiver 